It happened early one night in late September. A change in my life from a night to remember. I was sitting sipping on tea at a local coffee shop. Looked up and seen this beautiful woman which caused my heart to stop. She was sitting across from me with several of her girls, chatting up a storm and enjoying a cinnamon swirl. Moments later, this guy suddenly got all up in her face, screaming that he wanted her to leave this place. No, she screamed, and he grabbed her arm, which caused me to bolt out of my chair before he does her any harm. I stood between them and said, the lady said no. With hate in his eye, he responded, oh, you must be. Valerie's new bow. I don't know this woman and please release her arm. What kind of man would I be if I allow you to cause her any harm? He released her arm and took a swing at my face. I avoided that punch and told the women to leave this place. But Valerie refused to leave because she felt that she's to blame to leave not knowing if I was her would have been a crying shame. He being intoxicated made it an easy task. Every swing he made wasn't that fast. I used his momentum to keep him off balance, thinking with a clear head is my only talent. Self-defense was something I never really thought about, but coming to the defense of a woman, I'll challenge anyone to a bell. The police were called and he was apprehended. The shop owner shook my hand and said, you should be commended. I turned to Valerie to make sure she's all right. Notice how much more beautiful she is once they turn up the light. Valerie smiled and then on my cheek planted a kiss, which brought me to a heavenly bliss. Because I didn't own a car, she offered to take me home. She wanted to thank me once we were alone. I told her, no thank you. It's not what I want you to do. She said, why not? How else will I get to know more about you? Later, through our conversation, she revealed that they had just broken up. He finding her hair tonight was simply bad luck. She asked, why would you risk your life for a total stranger? Don't tell me you're one of those who dream of being the Lone Ranger. I had to laugh. That statement came from out of the dark. My reaction to this situation simply came straight from my heart. Quietness came upon her as she pondered her thoughts. Coming to the aid of a woman was what I've been always been taught. Well, it's three months later, somewhere around late December. Now Valerie and I thank the Lord for that night to remember.